Hi guys, so today I'm going to be trying out the new Anna Griffin Slimline Birthday Card Making Kit. I had mentioned before, I think I had ordered this earlier in the month and it just shipped, or maybe last month, or maybe not, I don't even remember. I just remember <laughs> ordering one and then the other, which would be the Slimline Birthday Card Making Kit and then the uh, Christmas one. And I actually um, hauled this the other day and I totally overlooked in that same box. There was another box, I just put it to the side so I can show you guys some of the smaller packages. And it was the, like, Christmas... Uh, holiday collection. It's just stickers and all these other things. So I'll do a video for that uh, soon. But any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchasing items to those links. As these items were picked up on HSN, so I do have affiliate links with them. And, and you know what? While we're doing this, and I kind of opened them up and unboxed it a little bit the other day when it came in, um, and some of the examples they had used this really pretty uh, background. Uh, it's the slimline. It's the auto ship uh, ornate slimline. And literally, I think a day or so after I got this, they put it on the HSN site. So this is now available on HSN too. And I want to use it to dress this guy up. So basically everything should be in here. You don't have to do this, you know, bring in your own dies, but it just adds a little something else. So let me put this here. We got that going. And so let's see. Again, super simple. It's very much like the sympathy set. This one's very much like the uh, holiday set and I'll show you. I don't know that I'll make a whole separate video on this. Maybe I will. Maybe I will closer to Christmas or I don't know. Um, they're literally the same. Like these background pieces and then of course these flor florals will be more Christmas related. Um, the sentiments again also. So very pretty. And like I said, I'm going to try to convince myself not to buy another one because I want to buy another one. <laughs> and here uh, it's just inspo. It doesn't really say anything about anything. So as you can see, um, this is that die set there and I have the other ones and that's why I was wondering if you guys can let me know I know this was like one of the first ones do we have this one where I was like Fleur de Lis in the corner I don't feel like I have that one so if there's another auto ship maybe that's the last one in the series because I don't feel like I've received that one yet no I have that one I know we have like that art deco one I know I have this guy but maybe it came in and I just hadn't used it yet so pretty so either way all right so we have some inspo there let's open this up Kind of already went through it. Of course, I'm going to pick a sentiment. We're going to pick some flowers. Um, it comes with a little dimensional adhesive. What I was saying about this, and I love this, is because it is very much a decoupage type of uh, dimensional adhesive. As you can see, it's thinner. I don't know if you can see, but let me show you one that's like you would normally get, right? I mean, it's way thinner. So you can do those decoupage layers without the card being like this thick because you put four or five layers, you know? But that's what I like to use those for. And this one, it's not so much decoupage, but just want to go through that and I popped these out the other day and did not put them back but you know what? I didn't go through each and every one like I normally do so super pretty with the foil purple on the back so it's like gorgeous foiling pink on the back Oopsie. let me settle in a little better I forgot that I didn't really unbox unbox I just kind of showed it real quick all right so this one has like some ivy prettiness here very light sage green on the back and then again another sage color one here with the uh, foiling a little bit deeper sage on the back of that one this one has our um, let's see um, little cake really pretty blue on the back of that one we have the purple that was this one or lavender again very lavender on the back another lavender take the deeper purple in the back there and then the two kind of green colors so I think those are a little bit different than like the sagey colors that we saw earlier hope you can see the difference here this one has some pink oh a little teacup love the lettering on that look at that maybe I'll use some unexpected colors like that usually I go with like the pinks and the purples <laughs> so maybe I should use one of these green ones balloons light pink on the back that's interesting. So pink, but there's a second pink one. And then this little kind of minty. And there's two of each. I'm just kind of holding them together. There are two of each, I guess what I should say. Um, so the cards are kind of going one way and going the other way. So we'll just look at them. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Let me turn them around so we can see them right side up. I don't think it really matters. It's just a pattern. And on the back, they always say the handmade by. You can sign that there. Two of this. Two of this beautiful colorway. Oh, I love that. Again, similar, just different colorways. 
similar, different colorways. And that lavender with the light blue. Or have I done a green one? I think the last time I did green one, it was kind of fall related. It was pretty. So there's those. Uh, envelopes, gold papers. I am going to use one of these today. I don't think today I'm going to use the vellum. I used the vellum the last time around and I think I used the Anna Griffin embossing folders and it was just like chewed through it but um, but we got it to work. It was fine. So but this time I'm not going to use that vellum but it is very nice. And then we have this guy I'm going to pick out so we can die cut. Um, and then we'll need an insert. Oh, you know what? Well, let's look at these inserts real quick. I think there's two of each of these also. Um, uh, they're front and back and then back and front. So let's just... <laughs> may your birthday be as special as you are. Why do I feel like it's so dark? Sorry, you guys. It's just overcast and just crazy right now. I'm looking at the camera and I just feel like it's dark. And it's usually because of these things that are shining. makes the camera kind of get upset. But, oh well. Um, let's see here. Best wishes today and every day. So there's two of those. What a great season to celebrate, or season, <laughs> reason to celebrate. Uh, you get more amazing every year. That's very sweet. Wishing you the happiest birthday. Again, this is a um, birthday set, so I'm going to use that one. So anyhow, you know, sending you wonderful birthday wishes, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Oh, I might need that. Maybe not. Uh, so I'm going to do is go through my card blanks and pick out what, which, which card. I was say what, and I said which. I don't know. Which card I want to use, and then which little topper piece I want to use. And I'll be right back. Okay, well, that was easy. I was just putting these in front of my, you know, self here. And I was like, oh, this, I mean, look how pretty that looks. Just the pink. And I said, oh, I said, I said I would use a green one. So I just matched up these two. And I think I like this one because it does have a little pink on that purple kind of unexpected colorway. So I will do that. What am I doing? This probably should go on top for a reason because these kind of nestle in together a certain way. I don't want to get, the, get those messed up there. Uh, we have this. And these guys. Oh, let me put this guy back. So that, that. We have an insert. We have our gold piece. And then we're going to pick out flowers and a sentiment. And yeah, we'll do all that part together. So let me clean up a little bit and then we'll uh, see what we got. Okay. So looking at this, this cuts its own out, this own thing. So if you were to layer these together, you're going to have this little skinny piece of whatever color you're <laughs> cutting out. So you don't want that. Either you do that outside background or you do this one by itself or you pair them up. But um, what I mean pair them up is like cut one and pair it on top of something else that's cut from this behind one. But I'm just going to do this today. Very similar to like what she has going on down here. And of course you can see all these layers that she has going. Um, oh, and the little vellum one. Oh, cool. <laughs> so the same set, the uh, ornate set here. And I don't know if you can see right in there. There's like a little like blue vellum that's cut from this guy. Just kind of popped in there for more texture and prettiness. Prettiness. Yep. So <laughs> I always try to be real chintzy with my paper. Like I can probably tip it like that and get a little extra. But I'm going to keep it right at the top. And maybe I can cut a sentiment with that later or something. So trying to keep it to the edges. I will definitely... Run this through in just a second. Um, oh, you know what? I turned it over before I could tell. It doesn't seem that there's much embossing on this. Now, if you want to run it through an embossing fold, not embossing folder, um, <laughs> with the embossing like the rubber mat, or if you're using the marquee, put foam underneath. It might get you like an extra little something around this ridge right here, you know. But I don't think the the die itself is like super embossy. It doesn't look like it has anything that has to do with that. We will put this on the inside in just a minute. So let's think about this. Actually, you know what, let me cut the gold piece because that might help me decide what I want to do with um, this other prettiness. I'll be right back. Okay, of course, after all that talk about it, I was just looking at this. There's a little bit of embossing. Oh, this stuff just always tears up. Actually, we'll have to cover that up. But in here, you can see that. I mean, embossed pretty well. I just ran through the marquee and it just did that. But you can definitely rubber emboss again if you want that to really stand out. But that's actually pretty out there already. Oh, what a bummer. That top part tore. Um, okay, let's put this to the side. Oh, let me see if we have that. Yeah, I mean, you're covering most of it up anyway. Let's see what's going on here. How does it look like in this picture? Huh. 
yeah, it's just like right there. So you just see the smallest amount on the top. So what I'm going to do is orient this down here so I can cover this little boo-boo with flowers. And I mean, I guess it just depends where you're going to put your flower, your stuff. But let's say it was something like that. And that literally just adds a little something in the background. And it is a little something. I mean, really, it's just barely peeking out there. Now, you could always trim these down if you want to see more of it or however. Okay, let's see. Let me open these up and dig through them. Um, you know, the flowers in the back, I see it's a lot of those, like, beautiful roses. There's some little, like, more delicate flowers in there. These are separated out. Not super sure why. Maybe just that it's easier to put in the packaging unless you have one big bulky um, pouch, you know. So let me put these here. But, you know, we have these guys. And, like, for me... I want to find something that kind of gracefully goes in maybe this area or maybe over here since we have the teacup there, huh? Ooh, I was going to say these aren't even the kind of flowers that are in there, but they look cute on here because they're delicate, brings back the color from the background. Okay, so we have that one. Maybe up here. Oh, okay. How about a sentiment? That's literally just two sets of flowers look so pretty, but let's see what we else, what else we find. Cheers to you. Kind of weird, especially if I start off at the top like I was doing, top and bottom. Oh, look at here they're using those pretty little flowers. Okay, so maybe I won't do that. Let's celebrate your birthday. This is what's tough. It's covering things up that I would prefer to keep. Um, sending birthday wishes. This one's a little bit crunched up in there. Yeah, so maybe I do that. There's a little flower here, and that's fine. Hmm. Oh. We have butterflies. Something else that will just kind of tie this in, you know what I'm saying? Kind of pull it together. That's what we probably need. Let's think, let's think. I'm going to keep digging through here and see if maybe there's a flower set that might be more appropriate. Oh, these are so pretty. Look at that. So I'm going to keep digging and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I was starting to put my stuff away and I thought, oh, I should tuck it a little bit. Um, yeah, I think this is what I'll do. So, um, obviously when we start sticking things down, it's going to look a little bit different. I went with this other flower just because it's a little more soft. Uh, the ones I had put in earlier were a little deeper. And then I had seen that there's another little spray of these guys that kind of looks decoupage. It's, n it's not. I mean, this is not I don't think supposed to be decoupaged but I think I might <laughs> have that one and pop this one up just to add a little extra down here kind of balancing it out we'll see so let's put this stuff to the side and we're gonna start gluing things down and this guy I'm not sure what I want to do with it you know even uh, when I run my Anna Griffin ones through my um, what's that thing called uh, the tangerine sometimes that happens less but I've noticed that or it really etches into the um, the plate right so I don't know but again you know like I mentioned all thin metal dies will go through any machine that cuts thin metal dies you just might have a better go a certain way than with others right like back in the day with Cuddlebug a lot of people were like oh not so much but I like in my big shot or whatever but I just have noticed that I think it was during that last creative event I took my tangerine when I had to stay at the hotel <laughs> and um, the crate was on and I was just like oh that is not good <laughs> it was not the best now I am sticking this down I put glue pretty much everywhere I probably would have let this be frouncy more but I'm gonna hold this down try to keep it pretty flat and I'll be right back okay so there we are and then this guy again you can pop this guy up a little bit and I think I might, but I think I'm going to pop this up with regular 3D adhesives. I'm going to come in a little bit just in case I decide to tuck maybe the flowers behind that instead of where I was thinking about putting them. So I'm just putting a little bit here and there. Maybe a couple down the center. These things are so funny. They're super ancient. So this whole area where this kind of picked up, it's like dry. And it's kind of interesting because I know one of the gals in the tonic uh, design team, um, whenever she uses foam adhesive, she always puts a little extra glue because she doesn't trust them. <laughs> and she says that helps you. So, I mean, because it does dry out, you know, after some time. So I think that's um, a really great 
tip. I feel like that one's a little bit dry. Just in case, because this is especially old <laughs> adhesive. And I'm just gonna pop that there. So it kind of shows you like in just looking at it that oh yeah, that definitely happens, you know. That's crooked, isn't it? Is that crooked? Ah, oh, don't stick yet. So I'm using that to give it that extra lift and anything else that's above that is going to have a little bit less. But look at that. Pretty cool. And that gold's just peeking out back there. This guy is a little worse for wear. <laughs> He's a little crunchy there. This should be a sticker. Yep. Oh, and you know what? I'm not going to stick it down quite yet. So we're placing it there, but I haven't stuck it down because it might be that... This flower is going to tuck behind a little bit. And I was going to let it go off this side. I don't, you know, mind. I think that's fun. So, like, right there. I'm just going to place some glue here. Just to get that one going. And then this guy is going to be, like, right here. I'm trying to flatten it out just, <laughs> again, because it was a little bit crunched up in the uh, packaging. Looks about center. Okay. And then we have this little lady. And oh you know what? Hmm. Let's say we can just kind of give it a little a little flight. But if I do that, we'll stick it down right here and see what happens. So with these card kits, the only thing is, you know, you got to make your selections. And I know that's the hardest for us. <laughs> and then from there, I mean, it's cake. So, I mean, that looks pretty right there by itself because we already have this decoration down here. But I was going to add a little, a little more down here. And so this one I'm going to put down flat. And if these are stickers, I would be surprised. I think these are, yeah, they're not. <laughs> so right in there. And on the back of this guy, I'm going to put a few little um, stickies, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Last bit. I mean, we can even put it like this. If I was going to put it like this, I would have moved this one this way so that the purple is in the middle and then put more pink. Because so it would be pink, purple, pink. Does that make sense? It would be like this, but on this side, right? But what I was trying to do is decoupage like this piece on top of this, even though it's not exactly the same. I just think it's cute. So I'm going to put that like there. And it just gives a little extra bounce to it. A little something different. And that is it, guys. I mean, that's <laughs> how quick. Good thing I oriented this the right way. I was just, <laughs> I didn't check. And I always, uh, well, I don't always say it, but I always think it uh, to make sure the orientation is correct. And I was going to say, where is my, oh, you guys, of course. So I have this here. I had this on top. But thank goodness I didn't put anything else on top because it would have pushed into the stickiness and would have held on to that, which is like my... I think it's like my curse. I do that all the time. Um, okay, so then we open this up. So to stick this down, all you have to do is put a little glue. You can use your wet glues. I'm going to use my ATG, which I love to just run down the side right here because I can see exactly what I'm doing, and it's really fun. So right on the edge. And put that guy away. Oh, hopefully. Hold on. There we go. Can you imagine hearing that falling? Oh, would not be good. So I'm going to open this up. And place that right in there. Oh, a little higher up. It looks like she gives you like a sixteenth of an inch all around. So I'm just going to smush that down without smushing my pretty flower. And when you open it up, this guy comes with the, the cover, right? The, um, the left side of your card. Because of that little piece of glue. Just that little strip of glue. So even if you're using white glue, I just do it uh, for video because I want to dry and open and show it to you guys. Just a little bead of white glue on that end and you can do the same thing. And the other side, you know, it's over here, but that's what you want. So when you go to open the card, it opens and you see that beautiful insert. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I think that was a relatively quick video other than making my selections. Um, you know, bows, rhinestones, all those extra things you can add. But again, this stuff comes in the kit other than, you know, the die that I use in the back. But I'll have links for both items in the description box. I'll have some images for you guys. And I will see you all at the next one.